All right, so as we enter the presidential election season, you're going to hear the term American exceptionalism more and more. Now, according to the Encyclopedia Britannica, American exceptionalism is the idea that the United States of America is a unique, even morally superior country for historical, ideological, and religious reasons. In fact, they say an assertion of American exceptionalism are generally made on the basis of the country's founding. Proponents of this concept argue that the United States was uniquely founded on Republican ideas rather than centering on historical community and especially on the ruling elite. Now, the brilliance of being a republic has protected and even advanced all voices in this nation. Now, the notion here is there's still work to be done, of course, and that's always kind of used as political fodder. Without regard to the enormous success uh, of getting to the point we are right now, uh, you know, fighting against things that are just human nature, uh, you know, and there's a constant battle, of course, against all these other interests who really abhor the idea of America in the first place. In fact, those that oppose the idea of America have found ways to use the term American exceptionalism to try to hijack, gut, even loot this nation. Case in point, in April, Brookings pointed out that the United States is leaving millions of people behind. Now, the piece harped on the gap between black and white Americans and a number of vital metrics, right? But the goal of the article was to advance a United Nations program. It's called Sustained Development Goals, or SDG. Now, this program is an ominous plan for a one-world government where individualism and success will be mortgaged in the name of climate change. The fact is America already spends more money on its military, education, health care than any other country in the world. I mean, it's not even close. Our problem is outcomes. I mean, take health care, for instance. The United States spends more money by far than any other country in the world, and yet we have the lowest life expectancy among any developed nation. So higher taxes, punishing the rich, that's not going to fix that. And we have to stop telling people that if they eat Cheetos every day but visit the doctor, everything's going to be okay. Uh, moreover, we have to do something about the drug crisis, right? And a lot of this all comes under the guise of self-accountability. And, and instead, you know, these issues and others are being used as a pretext for even more deficit spending. What's interesting to me is that this week in the Financial Times of all places, right, they kind of noticed, they put out a brutally honest piece about America becoming one of the most fiscally irresponsible nations in the world. So the article highlighted the almost $7 trillion in new spending on the President Biden. Most, most of it, by the way, had nothing, absolutely nothing to do with pandemic relief. It was, it was really a latter-day effort to have a new deal. Uh, the plan, of course, ignored uh, and downplayed the true costs and consequences of this sort of reckless spending, including, uh, we're talking soon, an annual trillion-dollar bill just to pay interest on our debt. So the irony is that the same people who beat the constant drum of war against free markets and American business have really ruined things. Now, I've pondered this, to be quite frank with you, since President Obama offered somewhat of a backhanded compliment of American exceptionalism. But I'm bringing this up specifically today as I watch the stock market. It's being powered by American companies that are absolutely changing the world, changing all humanity. Now, the good news is more American companies are now on the top list of the most innovative than they were even 10 years ago. And here's the interesting cautionary tale. As I looked at this same list, the decline of European nations on that same list. There are hardly any of them. Remember, those European nations are already tethered to the United Nations SDG program, which is exactly what it's doing to, designed to do. It's removing individual exceptionalism from Europe. It's removing the, uh, the opportunities for people to go out there, pull themselves up by the bootstrap, to start a company in a garage, and it becomes a multi-billion dollar company that saves lives all over the world. So, in an effort to push back against American exceptionalism, I say be, be, be aware of this, folks. It's happening. It's going to be happening mm. a lot more over the next year.